I sold the house. I saw a boat that I had. I had a Harley Davidson and I had a Corvette. And I sold all that stuff to open up that complex. And you see the result. When I decided to open the taco place, I didn't have a checking account, I didn't have no credit, I didn't have no money, so I told my dad I'm gonna sell all this stuff and I'm gonna open my taco place. And I asked him if he, I went and found a building, I asked him if he could sign for me. Never paid attention to put it in my name, because if I had asked him not to put it in my name, he would because he knew it was mine. And my name is Miguel Jara. I was born in a little town called Villa Guerrero, Jalisco. It's in the state of Jalisco, in Mexico. I was raised in Tijuana. They have the best tacos in the world down there. And when I come up here and I go visit my friends, they want to go to eat Chinese food or a steak. I say, oh no, I just want to go stand in the corner and eat, eat some of those tacos. My compadre, who's in heaven now, said to me one day, you come over here and we can't get you to eat nothing but tacos? Why don't you take one of these guys so he could feed you out there, you know? After we opened the taco place, it, it was really successful. My mom was running up and down, making new hot sauce because we ran out and we were supposed to cook meat and beans. So we could close at nine o'clock, we opened at 11. At two o'clock, we had nothing to sell, so we had to close. So it just kept going every day like that, you know? And it was really, really successful. But I went to Mexico, to Tijuana, and I learned how to, this thing that we put in the meat, we call it sabor. They teach me how to do it over there, and how they put it in the carne asada, they give it a different flavor. I went to a place called Tepatitlan and learned how to make carnitas. And I already knew how to make beans because my father did at the house, you know. When my kids started working for, at, the, at the shop there, La Taqueria, like four or five years ago, they finally told me that you always wanted to have a shop and you wanted to fix your cars. We're doing okay, why don't you go get something, you know? So I said, you know, that's not a bad idea. That's my 67 Mustang. It's got a, a real history. Watch. It opens up so you can get in. I had to go to court and a couple of days ago, yesterday or day before yesterday. Um, I don't know if I should talk about this, but some things happened in there where there was people that come over to buy the building only because they didn't want the taqueria to get out of there. The one person says, I was gonna give him a, a lifetime lease because he's a real fan. He's got a lot of money. I don't know him. I didn't talk to him, but uh, he was gonna give me a lease forever so I could stay there. And another doctor, the same thing. She came over to buy it so we don't leave. You imagine that? So that's a lot of anomalies that happen on, on these things. And right now we have to kind of uh, sort everything and, and go forward to do that. That's where we're at right now.